Welcome back to the Prepare Like a Pro live chat show. My name is Jack McLean, and this is our Sunday live podcast where I stream every week at 6 p.m. to discuss and debrief last week's live interviews, as well as announce the upcoming guests for our podcast, our Get Better Plan podcast, which is released every Wednesday. And because it's our last live chat of 2021, I'll also review this year's top three podcasts so we'll have a selection on our number one podcast for the year number two and number three and why and then i'm really interested to hear from you guys the listeners on what your favorite three is Uh, so after you've listened to this episode make sure to message through your top three and we'll be streaming live to instagram to answer your questions for those that have emailed through we've got three questions and then anyone that's on line live on Instagram, send through your questions and I'll do my best to answer them. There's been a couple of uh, significant changes, so some announcements to make for 2022, which I'm really excited to announce, and uh, I'll I'll do that shortly on, on this episode as well, and then also talk about the upcoming episodes on the podcast, our last two episodes for 2021. So we'll get straight into it. Let's dive straight into our top three uh, for 2021, which was our first year as a podcast. And I've ranked these three by um, ones that I've taken a lot from and that have also ranked quite highly in terms of listeners. So it's a good measure for, for those that have enjoyed the podcast in terms of our podcast listeners and ones that I've, I have really took a lot of value out of. So number one is Bowden Babacek. For those that don't know, he's a high-performance manager uh, who worked at Hawthorne Football Club and consulted a number of other AFL clubs. He's a, a high-level track and field athlete in his own right, and he's also worked with Olympic athletes and Commonwealth athletes, um, helping them prepare for uh, you know, best prepare for their physical pursuits in high performance. Uh, and the reason that I uh, took a lot out of this podcast was he he was highly he came highly recommended. Uh, he was he was mentored, or he mentored, sorry, to a lot of uh, strength and conditioning coaches that I look up to in the industry. Uh, so he came highly recommended, and uh, he didn't uh, disappoint. He, you can tell his level of knowledge and his ability to care for the athlete um, was uh, something to uh, very inspiring, as well as something to note down for all strength and conditioning coaches. Also for the athletes, he provided uh, a lot of practical tips uh, for how to improve not only your acceleration, your first three steps, but also your aerobic capacity and how important those two qualities are uh, for the fo- for the game of football. And then for strength and conditioning coaches, the importance of um, treating the athletes as people first uh, and analysing your sessions through video analysis and note-taking. So highly recommend uh, if you haven't listened to that episode, to make sure you do. Number two, Andrew Russell, also known as Jack, who's been hugely successful in the AFL industry for um, not only the work that he's done as a high performance manager, but being involved in, I believe, six premierships, one at Port Adelaide, one at Essendon, and four at Hawthorne Football Club. He's now the um, director of high performance at Carlton Football Club, I was lucky enough to intern it under him at Hawthorne before he moved to, to Carlton and um, yeah, I was blown away by his knowledge and his ability to engage the athletes and present uh, and, and keep it really clear and concise with the communication. So uh, f- in the podcast, we spent a lot around high performance culture and how to uh, adjust that depending on the squad that you're working with, the staff that you're working with and uh, how there's not a same recipe for for every team that you've got to adjust your um, your methods. But also he discussed how your, your, your big rocks, your philosophy doesn't change too much. Um, so we, for those interested in high performance sport or, or being a high performance manager or just managing people in general and understanding the psychology, uh, that is something that is definitely worth listening to. If you haven't listened to uh, Jack's episode yet, check that one out. And then number three was Paul Ruse. Um, obviously, household name in the AFL industry as a player and as well as a coach and a successful one at Sydney, winning a premiership. But with the leadership and um, the 
discussions we ha we held around leadership, but that's something that Paul does in the not only in the high performance environment, consulting now at North Melbourne, but also with um, companies um, in the corporate world as well. So, for those interested in improving their leadership skills, um, that was one that. I really enjoyed and I know a lot of people have listened to that one and, and we've got some raving reviews around it so that made our top three so if you haven't listened to those three definitely recommend you do and like I mentioned earlier in the intro if you have a different opinion on your favorite three make sure to send them through really keen to hear uh, what the podcast listeners your what your top three are so send them through any way that you that works for you Instagram email um and uh, yeah, really keen to see what your top three were for 2021. In terms of this week's uh, episodes, we have Josh Gordon, the Kicking Consultant, on Tuesday. So that episode will be released then. Josh has played AFL level. He played at college level as a punter um, before coming back and being a real specialist in the industry for improving AFL players with their kicking. Um, not just in terms of technique, but also using strength conditioning. He's completing his master's in strength conditioning. So he's got the full package in terms of skill acquisition, as well as the strength side and exercises that you can do to improve your mobility and your strength uh, and coordination to improve long distance kicking and uh, make sure you have more options with your, with your kicking technique. On Wednesday, our Get Better Plan podcast that is going to be revolved around, which is quite fitting for this time of year where people have some time off or hopefully you've got some time off and it's a good opportunity to reflect and set some New Year's resolutions for 2022. Uh, for a lot of people, me include 2021 has had its set of challenges, but also a great opportunity to grow and learn. And um, it's a good opportunity, which will be the Wednesday podcast episode, will be focused around your big rocks for football preparation. So for all the athletes out there, your big rocks are essentially a understanding and prioritizing what is is important for your preparation to perform at a high level. And an analogy that I like to use with the athletes I work with is imagine you've got a, a glass. You can fill that glass with a, ho a whole lot of granules of sand. If you put that in first, you can fill it with a lot of gravel. Um, but what we want to try and focus on is put in your big rocks first. So three to four of your big areas like your uh, training, your football training, making sure that main session is done at a high level, your sleep, your nutrition, and also your mindset. Let's say they're your four big rocks that you focus on. You want to make sure they're in the glass first before right. all the other little things like that, um, you know, whatever your lower priorities are for that for that week and making sure that you're, you're focusing on your football first if that's your number one uh, importance. So focusing on those three and you have to under, have be aware of what your big rocks are first to be able to know to prioritise those and make sure you, you get them in during the week uh, and then you find a routine that works for you. So that will be Wednesday's episode on the Get Better Plan. Uh, the Academy members will get the full episode and those in the podcasting world you'll get at least the first half of it for free. And then on Friday, we have Tim Parham, the episode with Tim Parham being released. He is head of medicine at the Adelaide Football Club and he's worked at a range of different um, high-performance environments in the Premier League as well as um, in the AFL. So definitely recommend those um, interested in working in high-performance sport to, to listen to that episode as well as the athletes as well, because there's a lot of practical tips on what to do to prevent injuries, uh, but also improve yourself as a as a footballer um, from a performance point of view. And then in terms of 2022, guys, we've got a big announcement to make. So we have, um, I have uh, finished up at Edge Training, which is a role that I was managing a gym at. And um, I uh, absolutely love my time there, love the, training the members and working with a couple of friends of mine and guys that I've got to know closely at, at Iron Edge in Rick, James and, and Tony and John. Um, but due to um, a role that I've just started at at the Melbourne Football Club, which would be part time managing the VFL program as high performance manager and assisting the strength and power program, I've uh, uh, finished my time at Edge Training and um, so for any strength edition coaches that are interested in working in a high-performance facility in the private sector, couldn't recommend edge training more. 
um, make sure to hit me up and I'll put you in contact with them as there'll be no doubt some opportunities for 2022 in the in the coaching realm. And then if you're a member, parent, uh, and you live in that area and you're looking to um, do some high quality training, couldn't recommend the facility that uh, the coaches and the facility itself is world class. So make sure to check it out. There's a free trial. Uh, but in terms of what I'll be doing, so I'll be working part time at Melbourne as well as focusing more on prepare like a pro. So I'll be my schedule and availability will, will increase you know, over the year of 2021. I mainly just did two days a week of my private work. So Tuesdays typically was my field based session. And then on Saturdays, I'd work with private athletes uh, for prepare like a pro on a Saturday in the gym. Uh, that's now going to increase um, to full time. So if you're wanting to do some work with me, I'll, I'll touch base with some, with some athletes that I didn't have any availability with uh, over the last few months um, next week and start working and, and scheduling in some times, uh, moving to a gym called CrossFit Schwartz, which I've worked at in the past as of January 3rd. So really excited to focus m more of my time um, on Prepare Like a Pro and also super excited to be back in the AFL and VFL uh, working at the Melbourne Football Club, which is um, yeah, a great opportunity and something I feel hugely grateful for and, and have to say thank Selwyn Griffith for the opportunity of um, selecting me for, for this role and really looking forward to learning under himself as well as Dave Regan and all the guys in the um, medical and high performance team, really looking forward to meeting them in the, in the new year. So that's a big announcement, guys. And if you're interested in working with me, all you need to do is just email me at jack at preparelikeapro.com. Um, maybe you're a parent listening to the podcast and you, you think your child could um, you know, benefit from doing some strength technique work or power development in the gym, or I'd also do field-based training as well um, in the Bayside area. I mainly do my, my field-based training. We're going to also do a new segment for the podcast, a collaborated monthly special event. It will be like a workshop-based event where I'll invite experts that have been on the podcast, let's say like uh, sports dietitians or high-performance managers, and have up to six guests who are all in the same niche and are experts in their field. So, for example, let's say that sports dietitians have up to six that have worked in high-performance sport all live on the podcast um, we'll, we'll discuss topics like how can nutrition help with rehabilitation how can nutrition help with um, your preparation for a game how can nutrition help for recovery um, so some key areas and some key questions that we get on the uh, social media through our email or the athletes that we work with um, and of course our academy athletes will be able to join in on that chat and ask the guest questions and that will be something that will be exclusive for all the athletes on our online program, individualized program, as well as the academy uh, and the podcasting uh, on the podcast episode, uh, at least half of it, just like the Get Better Plan, will make our podcast. So really looking forward to that. We'll do it once, one every month. And that's going to be a new segment that we're going to add to the podcast in the new year. And we're going to continue our two interviews, live interviews on Tuesday, Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. in the new year. Uh, we're going to continue with our four podcast episodes that we release every week. Monday is the uh, live chats that I'm now doing as a bit of a review and reflect of the week that's passed and the upcoming week. Tuesdays is an interview-based podcast. Wednesdays is our Get Better Plan, which is an educational um, content that uh, is around topics that I present to the athletes on our online and individualized coaching program. Friday is our second interview of the week. So there are four episodes that we do throughout the week uh, and we'll continue that the only addition will be once a month there'll be a live collaborated podcast episode which like i mentioned will be like a workshop so super excited to uh, bring that into 2022 it's something i've been thinking about for a little while and um yeah really keen to to try it out and and also eager to hear what you guys think of it so we'll do a few and then ask for some feedback all right, guys, we're going to go over to Instagram now to live stream and answer your questions. Hey there, Instagram. We are live streaming to answer your week's questions. 
So I'll kick it straight off. We've had three questions sent via email this week. And if you're listening in, feel free to send through your questions by hitting the question button at the bottom of your screen. First question's from Charlie. How can I improve recovery to, imp- to boost my energy levels? Great question, Charlie. Um, I would firstly look at what type of, what type of training you're doing. Um, so what's the fatigue um, in terms of your training load? Typically, footballers, um, your your energy level shouldn't be impacted too much from the amount of training you're doing. Um, Obviously, in season, the competition load around games is quite high, but the training load over a week isn't significant as sports like marathon running or gymnastics, swimming and these things. So if you're feeling low energy, typically I'll go towards more rather than your training and and influencing that will be more towards your lifestyle. So what's your sleep like? Um, and what's the quality of your mattress, your pillow, how old is your bed, um, what's your what other things around your sleep hygiene, like is there any, what are you doing 30 minutes to an hour before you go to sleep, have you got a sleep routine, how long is it taking you to, to unwind and get into get into sleep, and, uh, and how restless are you throughout the night, are you sleeping you know, all the way throughout the night and waking up at a routine time, or is it quite erratic and restless throughout the night, so sleep would be huge. Uh, and then potentially doing a food diary and looking at um, how you're fueling your training by the food that you're eating, uh, how much colour is in your nutrition, so are you getting a wide variety of, of nutrients, um, and as well as are you well hydrated. And that would be the, the main ones. Um, obviously, energy could be around mindset as well and, and um, how you're feeling, how you're coping with with stress, life stresses like um, your key relationships, uh, what, your um, stress levels with school or university or work life so looking at those things but that would be the main three things so I wouldn't change your training straight away I'd look at particularly more around your sleep nutrition and then your um, your psychology and see if there's anything that we need to do or do you potentially need to see an expert in those areas to try and uh, improve those areas and improve your your uh, lifestyle to improve your energy levels so I hope that question helps Charlie Alex is sending the next one. Top three strength exercises to improve physicality on the field. Great question, Alex. I would say my top three would be the back squat, uh, any f- a form of deadlift, so trap bar deadlift, and then a um, let's go with bench press. They'd be probably the top three that spring front of mind. Um, there's many other exercises you can do, um, but they're they're three classic. Um, movement patterns that are important uh, for football. Ben's got the next question. I need to improve my repeat speed. Any tips? Absolutely, Ben. So repeat speed, typically I'll program once a week in the off-season, pre-season for footballers. You can improve that by uh, getting that, that consistency and regular exposure to it. And then the next bit is your intent. So making sure you are focused on your first three steps when it is a repeat speed effort. So typically my repeat speed efforts would be like 60, 80, 100, 120s and up to 150 meter efforts because you can hold the intensity um, at those uh, levels where things like 300s, 400s plus is better for more aerobic threshold base conditioning. Um, so understanding your distances and what's appropriate for repeat speed uh, and then making sure you, you've got the intent to move fast with that. So you're bringing intensity. Recovery also allows, allows intensity. So if you're resting too short in between your efforts, then you may, you may not be getting enough intensity uh, to elicit a uh, stimulus to improve your repeat speed. So making sure you're resting enough, which typically if I'm doing, let's say, 150 meter efforts, and there you're hitting 23 second reps, then I would rest for at least 30 seconds in between typically. All right, guys, that's it for this this week's live Sunday show. If you have any questions or queries, make sure to hit us up. The power tip for this week, it's a great time to reflect on your year, um, what worked for you, what didn't, write down uh, your strengths and weaknesses and and what do you want to improve on for the 2020 to season um, and particularly around goal setting as well. So write down some tangible goals for the year of 2022. Um, but first, before you do it, I'd recommend going out into nature, go for a long couple of walks over the next couple of days and reflect on your year. And um, did you achieve what you set out to achieve uh, at the end of 2022 and 2021? And if you did, give yourself a pat on the back, celebrate, 
um, and make sure that you appreciate that um, and then note down what worked for you because success leaves clues. If you didn't, then what are you going to do differently to next year so you're not following the same pattern? Thanks for listening, guys.